Grand Rising, everyone. So today we are going to be making plantain ointment. I did not make this one, but um, that's actually how I learned of it. Um, this lady, um, amazing teacher, uh, taught me the benefits of a lot of herbs and things that we can find in nature and what their uses are. So plantain ointment, um, if some of you know what the plant looks like, I'll show you in a little bit. If you don't, I'll show you in a little bit. Unfortunately, it is sitting in oil. Plantain um, is really good for bug bites, so like um, bug bites, skin irritations, um, if you have any sores, that kind of thing. It is antibacterial and um, gets rid of like irritation as well. So um, we'll be trying to make our own. Now, I do ask for recipes from the lady that teaches me, but she's kind of been doing this for, I don't even know how long, like she's seven years old. So. Like she doesn't have a lot of this written down either, so she's just like, oh, just add this and this, and then I'm like, well, how much of each? She's like, well, just whatever consistency you want. So we're gonna be kind of like freeballing it again, but I do that with a lot of my recipes, anyways. So this here is plantain. Now you can do this in a slow cooker, um, or you can let it sit out in the sun. Um, this is the same way you make essential oils. I do have another video of those, and I will be having more. Um, so this is kind of like the plantain itself. It's been sitting in grapeseed oil uh, for a couple weeks here, but I am going to heat it up because it's pretty cold in my house right now and I don't want to turn the heat on. So I'm just going to warm it uh, and then we'll strain it and then I'll show you the processes of um, making our own ointment. So what you will need, plantain that's been heated up in a absorbable oil. So a lot of people use grapeseed oil or almond oil. Um, so I'll be using grapeseed oil as the mixing oil, as well as it's been sitting in here. And then some almond oil, beeswax, a little bit of tea tree oil, and then you'll want your container. Uh, a strainer cloth, which is just a piece of material really. Um, and then a jar to catch it, because this is how we'll strain it. So. So, I'm going to turn this on low. I do like this container because it keeps all the dust out, but I do feel like I lose a lot of the actual oil when I do use it. So, actually, I'll slowly warm it up because as you can tell, it's pretty stiff in here. Okay. And Okay, so we'll see if I can tilt this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so warm it up a little bit. And now you don't want to boil or overheat any of your essential oils because it will actually uh, destroy all the nutrients in the plant that you are trying to use or extract its nutrients from into the oil. So you never want to bring anything to a boil, especially with essential oils. You just want to warm it to a certain temperature. I don't know what that temperature is, but I use like a rule of thumb, like I can still touch it with my fingers kind of idea. So I don't want to get too hot. I'll let that warm up and I'm going to chop up my little bricks of beeswax. Alright, so I've chopped up some beeswax. Now I might need a little bit more, but that's okay. Again, we're rolling with this. So I'm going to take you guys and my plantain, which hopefully I can show you. Um, We're going to strain it into this little cloth. So, I do have other videos, if you have some you haven't seen, um, on how to make homemade cheese, on essential oils, um, some, so this is kind of what the plantain looks like. It's been sitting. Another, actually this is mentioned in quite a few of my books. Um, it was also called White Man's Foot uh, originally because this is actually not this is actually not um, like from Canada. It came with like the foreigners, I guess you could say. So me colonizer, <laughs> like not me personally, but my I 
this heritage. So there we go. Chiller just from the last time I did this video. But it was oil. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Alright. Alright. So, this is our plantain heat gum to here, and it is dripping into here. Now, I might have to make two containers, I'm thinking, based on the oil content that I have here. So. drips. We'll find another jar. Alright, that's still dripping and we will squeeze it out so we can ensure that we get all the goodness out of it. So this is the ornament she made. Like it's pretty viscous, like it's pretty oily. Um, so I'm going to try and duplicate that. Um, normally I make lip chaps uh, or bombs or whatever um, and like I like them a little Harder than this, uh, just because when it sits in the vehicle all day, they get really gooey and stuff, so I don't really need to worry about that. Uh, yeah. So one I've made, so if you want to see, I do have videos on this. Clip chat, this one's almost done. So it's not quite as viscous and oily as this one, but I also use different products. So I use like coconut oil and shea butter and stuff for this one. So let's uh, squeeze this guy out. And then we'll slowly start heating everything together and then pouring them into jars. And then boom, you have like a natural uh, skin treatment. Um, and you can find plantain uh, anywhere in North America now. Again, it wasn't actually from here originally. Um, it came with the foreigners, or colonizers. There we go. So. Okay. Goodness. Okay. Boom. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands and I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, so now we have our plantain and oil. Uh, we're going to put it into the pot. Um, I use this style because they have little spouts on either side. It's super handy uh, for cooking and if you have any remedies. So, get this going. This is liquid almond oil, and I haven't used almond oil before, to be honest. I usually use coconut oil, or uh, grapeseed, or olive oil to cook with, sunflower oil. I do not use canola oil. Actually, that's a lie. The only thing I use canola oil for is when I'm trying to remove labels off bottles, which is a really good method. I should make a video about that. So if you have like a label on a bottle and it doesn't peel off, just soak it in oil. Let it sit for like a day and then you can scrape it off with a razor blade. Boom. Done. Done with. I'll show you guys that in another one. Alright. Oh, here we go. Okay. So probably won't need much. I think that'll be enough. Okay. I definitely need more leaf mark. For sure. I think I need. We'll see. We're gonna let it melt down for a little bit. Hold on. Well, that is slowly melting. 
I keep forgetting to turn my phone on when I do stuff like this because like I keep my phones in the microwave and I don't really look at them when I'm at home. So I made mozzarella. I've done it a couple, well, a couple times already. Yeah, I made mozzarella. The best part about it is the stretching. It's like bubble gum in your hand. It's super fun. One of these days I'll remember to actually video it. <laughs> Um, if you have any suggestions for topics or videos or products you'd like to see me make, please comment below. So I'm going to wait for this to slowly melt down. Sorry, I keep forgetting fish uh, plate. So I did add a couple drops of tea tree oil, which is really good to keep uh, bacteria from growing in it, as well as tea tree is usually beneficial for health. Um, so the way she tests it to see if it's a good consistency. Put a dollop, put the fridge, oh yeah, this is ready, I can get this in here, okay, Let's look at that, I think that's a good consistency, like it's not running off of it, and it's still super soft, okay, alright, so I'm going to pour it into our little jars, oh, wish me luck, let's see here. And mine's obviously a different color, um, which I don't know why. I'll have to ask her and I'll let you guys know that. Um, I don't think it'll sell both of these. So I might just do this one. I should have did the... I don't really want to do another container. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Team. Okay. So I'm gonna put in the fridge and I'll show you guys the end product. Full disclosure. So there was coffee grounds on my counter. They got mixed in with some of the beeswax. Totally thought it would just work itself out, but that was just my ego and me being lazy. And now look, oh wait. No oh, coffee grounds! That's okay though. It's much darker, but like I don't mind it. I think it's very pretty. So this is my plantain ointment. Um, I'll write the benefits in the description. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Um, if there's any other subjects you'd like to see or interested in, put them in the comments below. If you have any ointments or miracle cures uh, from nature that you'd like to pass on, leave them in the comments. I also started canning meat. Um, eventually, I will remember again. I'm hugely bad at this. On how to make this is a giant rug. Um, on how to make an Amish nut rug. All you need is old sheets, duvet covers, whatever works, whatever you got around the house, um, and either a paper clip or a bobby pin. I'll post that in another video. <sighs> Dishes are done. Ointment's done. Good day so far. Alright, have a good one everyone.